What is up, Karatics? Welcome back to the series where I customize and review past DLC and OG vehicles. Never got the chance to because I didn't start making car customization videos till about late 2015. Again, guys, let me know in the comments what car from late 2015 and older you want to see me customize next, and I'll display the most like vehicle suggestion comment in the next customization video. So, in today's video, we're going to be customizing the Dinka Ballista Compact. So the Ballista Compact came out with the PS4 and Xbox One versions of the game in November of 2014. The car can be purchased from the Summer San Andreas website for $42,000, or of course if you're a returning player from PS3 and 360, you can get it for free. Now the Ballista Compact name was first introduced in GTA Vice City, and it was also featured in San Andreas, Vice City Stories, Chinatown Wars, and GTA 4 as well. And the one in GTA 4 is pretty much identical to the one we have in GTA 5. Now in terms of performance, this car is surprisingly in the sports car class, which makes absolutely no sense, because the word compact is literally in its name, it's a compact car. And as a result of this poor class placement, it's literally the slowest car in the sports car class it's just really sad, it really should have been in the compact class where it would have actually fit nicely around the pace of the top 5 vehicles in the compact class, but that's just a great example of Rockstar Logic. We get to see from time to time some of the stuff in this game makes no sense, but it is what it is. Anyways, in terms of what the Ballista Compact is based on, it's primarily based on the first generation Honda CRX and looks pretty similar to its real life counterpart, which is very surprising for such an older vehicle. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out the customization of the Ballista Compact. Alright, Ballista Compact. Sports, I, I still can't get over that, how it's <laughs> sports class. Alright, armor, brakes, engine, exhaust, so you have dual exit, big bore and race. Race sticks out a bit too much for my taste. I think the big bore looks a bit cleaner, so we'll do that. Hood, uh, carbon stock hood basically. And then a vent head hood off to the side looks pretty good there. Um, lights, I think we'll leave the stock yellow lights on there. Plate, black plate. Ah, oh, put my VTEC plate on there. <laughs> Uh, Alright, so respray, so in terms of color combo for this, I'm thinking of making it look kind of like the Mugen, the 84, how it's kind of have that all white theme, which I think looks really cool, um, so we're going to do that, we're going to go primary color, I'm going to do a metallic, we should do frost white or ice white, I think we'll do frost white, and secondary, same thing, frost white. Um, Kremlin for this car goes on the doors, and it's kind of more forward towards the front of the car, which is interesting. It's not at the center like it is on most cars. Interesting there. Um, roll cage. Oh, look at that. It has the racing seats and everything with the roll cage. Sure, why not? That's awesome. Roof. We got a sun strip. Okay, I think I'm going to skip out on that. Skirts. Custom skirt. Okay, not bad. Spoiler. Low level spoiler, color coded, the same one, and then the tuner wing. With kind of like a reinforcement to the brackets. <laughs> okay. Um, I think we're going to do the uh, color coded wing on there. Suspension, the definitely going to slam it all the way. Transmission, turbo, wheels. So for this one, we're going to go to the street category, and then we're going to go here to these right here. Um, so these are basically the size of tuner wheels but you know they have more of a deep dish to them so I think they like, kind of look a lot better than the traditional um, tuner wheels that we see here so yeah and I don't want to do like the normal wheels either because I think they're just way too big I mean look at this these are just way too big for this car if we compare this one for example to uh, this one right here you can see the difference I think this looks a lot cleaner a lot better on this car so we're gonna do the um, endo v3 customs and then we're also, obviously, we're going to paint them in the uh, frost white to match. Well, that's a lot brighter than the frost white we have on the car. Okay, actually, let's go back and change that. It might be the pearlescent, but I don't think so. 
No, okay, let's just go back here, then we'll just do metallic ice white. It looks up yeah, looks a lot better. Okay, there we go. Yeah, definitely a lot better. Okay, continuing. Turbo wheels, windows. I think we should black these out. Also blacks out the sunroof, which is really cool. So do limo on that. And that's all the options there. Not bad. I think it looks really cool. Now personally, I would have loved to have seen a front bumper upgrade. You know, a splitter that hangs lower like the side skirt, because right now they don't match. The side skirt is lower than the front bumper, which is kind of annoying. Um, and a rear bumper upgrade would have been nice too, some nice diffusers and such, but um, all we got was a random side skirt upgrade. I, I don't even know why they bothered. They should have also done the front bumper too. But anyways, let's go ahead and take it for a drive, exit to ground. This thing is front wheel drive, um, you know, as it should be. So it should be a really interesting driving experience. Now, it doesn't have that much power. I mean, it's basically a compact car in the sports car class, so, I mean, it's not very fast <laughs> by any means. We can see him as full throttle here. First person has the interior from the Fudo. Very similar. Not bad. I mean, it moves pretty decent. The front wheel drive. <laughs> Right, let's take a corner here at a higher speed, kind of force it into the corner a little bit. We have a lot of understeer, you can imagine from front wheel drive. Hard on the brakes, turn in. Not terrible. But you definitely have that understeer from it being front wheel drive. Not bad. Not bad, but the understeer, like I said, it's definitely there. Yeah, it's not really a fast car, <laughs> but it can it can get its way around. It is different, you know. You don't really see these too often, and it's not a um, you know, a normal AI car that drives around, so that's good, at least in online. All right, let's pull over and open all the doors and stuff. Well, let's pull over to right over here, actually. Perfect. Alright. The all white looks really good. I love the way that turned out. With those wheels too, looks great. And the red seats of the interior, that's sick. Different. Okay. Vehicle doors. Actually, let's uh, turn on the lights here so you have a bit more. There we go. Okay. All, let's see. Nice. Everything opens up. Engine model. Look at that. They actually did put some effort into it. You know, a little bit. They have the Dinka logo on there. Not terrible. I expected it to be a lot worse. That's pretty decent. That is pretty decent. You got the i4 on there, inline 4. Very cool. Not bad. Not bad. They put a little bit of effort into it. Interior from the Fudo and with the racing seats. It looks pretty cool with the roll cage and all that. Hatch opens up. Not bad. A solid car. Especially, you know, for free or even the 40000 that it costs. It's very well worth it. Um, but it's not in the compacts class. That to me kind of ruins the entire car, the fact that it's in the sports car class, because it just, it's not usable. I mean, if you wanted to use it in a coupe, uh, sorry, a compact race, for example, and you just ban the Brioso and the club, which are the top two, then you actually have a competitive race with this car and a lot of the other compact cars as well. Just makes no sense to me why Rockstar did that. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Remember to let me know down below in the comments what car from Lake 2015 and old do you want to see me customize next. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.